has come a long way. The modern contractor today uses equipment and techniques previously undreamed of. Early machines were designed to do specific jobs, digging, grading, lifting, or carrying. Each served its purpose, but had limited versatility. But in 1946, a machine emerged destined to, within a few short years, revolutionize the construction industry, the Gradol. As its reputation spread and more owners discovered Gradol versatility, different size models and a variety of attachments were developed to meet a wide range of jobs. The pavement removal bucket, coupled with the powerful Gradol boom, created a prying and breaking action unequal for removing and loading heavy concrete. The widely used 60-inch ditching bucket simplified such jobs as rip wrapping, ditching, sloping, grading, and irrigation work. Backhoe type jobs became possible with a heavy duty excavating bucket and the narrower trenching bucket. Soon there was an attachment or extension for every conceivable job. Today's grade all is the end result of more than a quarter century of experience in the hydraulic excavator field with a size and attachment to meet every contractor need. The secret of great all versatility lies in the unique arm-like actions. By combining the five movements of the human arm with the power and precision of hydraulics, great all has become a byword in the construction industry and one of the most valuable possessions any contractor, public body, or industry can own. Today as in the past, great all is still digging for profit. This Washington contractor recognizes grade all productivity. His fleet includes 22 grade alls and blankets the nation's capital. Here a 660 completes 350 feet of drainage ditch. The job included sloping, grading, and digging a ditch 24 inches deep and 48 inches wide, working in and around telephone poles and other obstructions. Only Gradol's precise control and arm-like actions could handle this type of close quarter work, cutting a perfect ditch with bottom to grade every time. In another part of Washington, Gradol takes on the toughest kind of excavation, working 55 feet down amid oozing mud and low overhead cross braces this 660 excavates for the first track level of the Pentagon Station, a part of the huge Washington subway system. Material being dug is abrasive granite and rugged red clay. Tough crawlers take the 660 through the muck and ooze, while the 13-foot, 1-inch working height lets it work easily under low overhead clearance. No other machine could work under the low ceiling to get into all the nooks and crannies necessary to do the job right. A bridge contractor in Texas recognized grade all versatility. The job included finish work plus deep excavation. After considering the use of a grade all and a backhoe, he decided that the grade all could do the work of both. And he was right. Working in a combination of gumbo and sand, the 660 with 60 inch ditching bucket excavated 19 feet deep for the installation of 600 feet of large storm sewer lines. Besides easily handling the heavy excavation, the grade all was also able to cut the bottom to grade with tapered walls for safety. Stone bedding was then spread so evenly that no hand finish work was required. Grade all did the work of two machines on this job, saving the contractor time and money. In the fir forests of the Pacific Northwest, annual rainfall of 50 inches or more is not uncommon. As a result, haul roads for off-highway log trucks are often in danger of being washed away. Adequate drainage is necessary to the survival of these roads and subsequently the logging firms themselves. A grade all is helping control the problem. Working deep in the wilderness, the 660 operator depends on the exclusive grade all features to complete miles of new ditches and smooth slopes. 
Hydraulic remote control lets the operator spot the machine for maximum efficiency. Spoil is cast 90 degrees down a slope, many times with a machine tight against an embankment. The short 9 foot 3 inch tail swing lets the 660 turn easily in this confined area. Ninety-nine percent availability during the first five months of operation is the reason why Gradol is working here in this wilderness. This contractor took his Gradol onto a job site too confined for other types of equipment. Working in a residential area in and around trees and other obstacles, this 660 with a special narrow toothless bucket easily and accurately cut the required ditch to grade in preparation for concrete lining. Another contractor used his 660 to dig 1,500 feet of sewer and storm ditch, three to six feet wide and 17 feet deep through abrasive limestone. Over 3,700 yards of tough excavation. The 660 with 15 inch trenching bucket worked easily in the rough ground, attaining production not possible with other machines. In the tough rock-filled ground of Pennsylvania, this 660 dug over 1,600 feet of footers, seven feet deep, in ground 60 to 80 percent rock. Tough going for any machine. Using a heavy-duty excavating bucket, the 660 did all excavation, Precise grade all control means straight walls, bottom to grade, and perfect corners every time, even in rocky ground like this. This job called for one mile of road widening, including concrete removal, drainage, excavation, grading, and highway installation. Grade all was a part of every phase of the job. To meet contract specifications, the grade all using a pavement removal bucket tore out 600 feet of original highway, 12-inch reinforced concrete on top of old brick and covered with blacktop. The Great All tore out six-foot slabs of heavy pavement, swung 180 degrees, and gently loaded them into waiting trucks. The powerful interaction of boom and bucket makes Gradol the ideal machine for this type of work. By mounting his Gradol with 60-inch ditching bucket on a floating platform, this contractor was able to easily dredge and shape 3,000 feet of the Ohio Erie Canal in preparation for concrete lining. The Gradol worked six feet underwater, feeding a 10-inch dredge pump located in the water next to the platform, shaped banks, and helped place 4,000 tons of gravel fill. Only a Gradol could do this job, as only Gradol with tilting boom capability lets the operator always know the angle of his bucket even when it's hidden. As a result, this operator, although unable to see beneath the dark water surface, was able to quickly and accurately finish the job. On a highway job in Florida, the contract called for one and a half miles of road widening. The 660 was there for every step of the operation, doing jobs other machines just couldn't. Here the 660 shows off its control as it uses a 60-inch ditching bucket with boom extension to load out 8-inch broken concrete. The grade all has the ability to load out the tough material and at the same time grade the roadbed. This elimination of a step in the road work saves the contractor valuable time and money. Madeira, California, a busy agricultural community, depends largely for its survival on 365 miles of irrigation canals, which comprise the Madeira Irrigation District. These canals must be constantly maintained. A 660 with remote control does the job. Here, the 660 with ditching bucket and boom extension 
accurately places riprap along canal banks quickly and evenly with minimum loss of material. Precise control also means the 660 can clean out weeds and debris without damaging the delicate canal lining. During off-season, the 660 handles all major rebuilding and construction work. Using hydraulic remote control, the 660 shuttles back and forth along the top of narrow causeways, maintaining mile after mile of canal. Public bodies all over the country have found Gradol to be ideal for roadside maintenance and other county chores. A short 9-foot, 3-inch tail swing permits traffic flow, while the low 13-foot, 1-inch working height lets the 660 maneuver easily under low-hanging trees and wires. Built-in stability eliminates the need for outriggers or stabilizers. No loss of time for setup, no damage to road surface or berm. This county in Texas makes good use of the hydraulic remote feature. The operator can accurately position his machine from the upper cab, freeing the driver to act as flagman or check grade. Precise boom and bucket control lets even new operators cut a perfect ditch every time. Positive down pressure of the boom compacts dirt for longer ditch life. Although such advantages make grade all ideal for these day-to-day -day chores, built-in versatility has assured grade all of a place in every type of industry. Through the mountainous areas of California wind the tracks of the Southern Pacific Railroad. Here, heavy rains and snowfall often result in falling rocks, mudslides, and uncontrolled wheat growth, making ditch maintenance a critical matter. Southern Pacific uses railroad grade alls with hydraulic remote control to keep ditches and culverts open. By actually riding along the tracks on hydraulically operated railroad wheels, the 660 can get quickly to problem areas and efficiently maintain mile after mile of right-of-way. The long 28-foot, 6-inch boom reach allows loading of dirt, rock, and debris into trucks located on the far side of a second set of tracks. By changing from obsolescent maintenance machines to the railroad grade alls, Southern Pacific today boasts of a 25% increase in ditch maintenance production. At a pulp mill in Maine, Diamond International uses a 660 for chip unloading. This great all with specially designed eight-foot bucket is mounted atop a gantry which straddles open-top rail cars. Vertical dig allows complete emptying of cars while the positive action of boom and bucket breaks easily through a frozen crust of chips. Use of the 660 for this job has reduced car unloading time by three hours over previous unloading methods. In Texas, Southland Paper uses a 660 to do the difficult job of unloading rail cars stacked high with logs for processing. Using a flat pulpwood blade, the 660 moves parallel to the tracks, carefully pushing five-foot logs off rail cars and onto a conveyor for transport to the mill. Precise grade all control assures a controlled flow of logs to prevent jamming on the conveyor. 40-foot rail cars can be unloaded by the 660 in only 15 minutes. The great all iron arm is fast becoming a common sight in steel mills around the world. The great all can handle jobs that previously could only be done by hand. Here, using a ripper attachment, a 660 removes the fire brick lining from a steel ladle. This job was once done by workmen who had to first wait for the ladle to cool sufficiently and then enter with a pneumatic hammer. The great all can remove the working lining in approximately 20 minutes without damage to the permanent lining. BOF debricking is another great all job. Using an air hammer and scaling hook, the telescoping arm reaches into the BOFs to remove the entire working brick lining and clean out tap holes. With its variety of attachments, Gradol is at home in any part of a steel mill. Yes, today's Gradol is a far cry from early predecessors. Manufactured on a 65-acre site in New Philadelphia, Ohio, Gradols are available with every imaginable option. 6x4 or 6x6, carrier-mounted, with gas or diesel power, self-propelled, 
or crawler mounted with 24 or 30 inch triple grouser pads and 60% great ability. Remote control allows easy and precise positioning while a wide variety of quick change attachments provide the right tool for every job. the entire manufacturing process, every component and system is carefully checked and double-checked to assure compliance with high Warner and Swayze standards. This kind of versatility, reliability, and ruggedness, plus a quarter-century experience, is the reason why Gradol has become a byword in the construction field and received recognition the world over, becoming a familiar sight in some of the most distant ports of the world. The story's the same everywhere. Gradol. Toughest worker on any construction gang, longest laborer in any industry, and hardest working public servant on any county crew is getting in and doing jobs other machines just can't. Go ahead, name the job. Radol can do it. Gantry mounted, log unloading, bee ditching, dredging, 